Hey guys, Power8D here with an Affinity Designer vector based tutorial. I want to show off five methods of creating a gradient around uh, complex shapes like this. So we want to use vector for non-destructive and you know, ultimate editability and just because it's fun. So control N to create a new document. I'm just going to put a background in and lock it. Grab our heart here and give it a nice red fill. I'm going to duplicate this four times for my other examples. Alright, so the most basic option is the fill tool. Uh, this is great for simple shapes but for more complex options it just doesn't really cut it. So I'll choose the radial here to try and match match our shape, but as you can see it's not going to follow around perfectly like we want. This is perfectly f good option for you know your ellipses and circles. Um, we'll move on to the next option here. So this option is going to be the layer effects and outline. Bring up the radius so you can start to see it take effect and it's protruding beyond our shape so we can fix that by changing the alignment to inside and we need to change the fill style to contour to get this gradient and we can apply whatever colors we want right in here and now if you want to blend perfectly with your inside fill color get your end node bring it up with the eyedropper tool pick that color and apply it and we can add any color we want along the gradient. Uh, this option is pretty cool but it doesn't work with a gradient fill color. So I'll show you what that means. So it works for part of the gradient but then as it changes color that red is going to clash. So I don't know how to fix that yet. If you know please leave a comment. So the next method is very similar to that, but we're just going to apply it to part of the shape. And to do that, we're going to control J duplicate that. We don't need the fill, so just make it transparent, convert to curves, and then A to the node tool. I'm going to apply a start and end point. And we're just going to break the curve with this tool up here. And you can see now it's created two new objects. I'm going to delete the right side, so I just have the left to work with and I'm going to bring up the stroke a bit so that you can see it and it's protruding beyond our original shape so just mask it with the master heart by making a child like that and once again we're going to go to layer effects and outline and bring up that radius and you can see it pushing in but we need it to be on contour for that gradient and I find inside doesn't work very well center is pretty good and outside is fine but it creates this issue of the stroke showing up so let's just work with center for now uh, if we want to blend with the red once again pick that the node on the inside and match the colors with the dropper tool and apply whatever what other colors you like and we have this rounded fall off here, we can fix that by hitting A to get into nodes, P for the pen tool, control click to start off here and just click with our pen tool to create a new point so that we can get a, get a curve off there. Do the same for the bottom if you wish. Alright, so the next method uh, uses a set of strokes and Gaussian blur. So let's go ahead and control J to duplicate that. Uh, we don't need that fill anymore. So we just have a stroke and this is going to determine the width of each of the bands of color. So just pick what makes sense. Convert to curves and kind of do the same thing. Start an endpoint. Break the curve. Delete the right side. Going to work with the left. Control drag to duplicate, control J to duplicate with offset. And now pick the colors to make up the gradient color. So let's just go a blue, a bit of a 
green, yellow, and then perhaps back to red. And we're going to need to group this set. So select those, control G, and we'll nest it again for uh, so it'll be masked by the main heart. And expand that so we can see the group. Go to layer effects and we can apply the Gaussian blur now. And you'll see it blurring together into a bit of a gradient. As you can see, it's not following our shape nearly as well as the other methods. Uh, you'll just have to adjust your strokes so that it uh, fits better. Or there's videos which I'll link in the video description about how to create a stroke which perfectly matches your shape. Alright, so the last method, uh, it's very basic, but we'll just select this heart and control J to duplicate, shrink it down with proportional scaling, control shift click. The top here creates a pinch point, so it's a lot fatter around, so I double click and adjust this control node so that it's a bit more consistent. Click the fill, darken it up a bit, and just going to apply the Gaussian blur. And you can fit that how you like. This should really be a child as well, so that it's masked. That way if we go beyond the parent there, it won't matter too much. So those are the five methods I've discovered so far to create a gradient on a more complex shape. Uh, still having issues with blending it perfectly in some situations, but if you have other methods, please let me know, that'd be great. And a couple of these techniques were from the forums, so I'll put